Hello there, a big welcome to everyone who's joined my channel so far in 2018. Lots of fun beauty and travel content coming your way this year. I might be an unashamed luxury beauty lover, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy a good drugstore browse. A few of you have asked to see this, so here are my top drugstore makeup picks from almost every category. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I don't actually wear foundation, so I'll skip straight to concealer. Vichy Dermablend is a great high coverage creamy spot concealer. Pretty good dupe for my favourite Clé de Peau, which sadly has a hefty price tag. Vichy isn't really available in Australia, so I grab this in boots when I'm in the UK. Derma Finish is something I grab by accident, I think. It's similar, but a slightly warmer shade for me in summer. Love a good drugstore blush. This Bourjois Aqua Blush 12 Hour has been a recent favourite. Definitely doesn't last 12 hours on me. Cream blush really does, but I love how sheer and gel-like this formula is. It's almost a watercolour. You really can't overdo it. Very natural on and a nice orangey coral for summer. This particular Revlon Insta blush is fairly similar to my favourite brownie Chanel Le Beige blush stick. It's one of my favourite products of all time, but devastatingly discontinued. I'm really into deep rosy brown blush shades, so 330 Nude Kiss is spot on. And a relatively new Aussie beauty discovery for me. Luma Cosmetics was created by one of our top Aussie models, Jess Hart, an old Victoria's Secret model. This just a touch lip and cheek tint in Lady Luck definitely ticks the dark rosy box for me. Very pretty browny berry sort of colour. You can build it up by patting more on. Luma is also well represented in my drugstore highlighter collection. Their On The Glow highlighter in Kashmir Kasbah is a great champagne highlight in easy creamy stick form. Sorry, it's been really sunny recently, so these swatches are a bit hard to see. Definitely looking to fix my lighting in future. Bronze Voyage is a great warm highlight shade. Almost has a slight pink tone to it, so you could wear it as a bit of a blush or bronzer. Call these the Glossier Haloscope Quartz and Topaz of the drugstore. Then the La Roche-Posay Tolorienta Poudre Soleil Bronzing Powder is a lovely, subtle, warm bronzer. You can even create a nice eye look with these three subtle tones too, which leads me onto the real shadow stars. These L'Oreal eye paints are pint-sized tubes of cream shadow joy. I'm obsessed with the pink 102 Irresistible Rose and orange 307 Sunset Goals. They look very intense when you first swipe them over your lids, and you could leave them like that, but I love blending them with my finger. Quite long-lasting too. NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils had to feature, didn't they? If you haven't ever tried these, please head to your drugstore or even eBay to pick one up. These shades are Cottage Cheese, Iced Mocha, Sparkle Nude, Bronze, Rust, and Slate. Rust and Bronze are my must-haves, though. Easy cream formula, pretty metallic look, they blend well, they come in so many shades, and they're really affordable. The next few suggestions aren't strictly drugstore, they're more high street makeup favourites. Rosie for Autograph is Rosie Huntington Whiteley's line for Marks and Spencer, a UK high street store. I think I saw this Copper Gold Rush palette used in a tutorial once and had to try it. Love that pinky plum shimmer. Also a big fan of H&M iColor To Go pencils. I think they've sadly changed the look and shade slightly. This one came from a holiday in Norway. Shout out to the H&M in Stavanger. Oxidize is such an ideal bronze that blends out to be very subtle. And Other Stories is one of my favorite stores to visit in Europe and the US, and their in-house beauty brand is really impressive. This soft coal eye pencil in mohair khaki is really creamy. Another one that blends out really well to reveal a slight shimmer great for green eyes. I'd love to hear what your favourite drugstore liquid eyeliners and mascaras are, but La Roche-Posay rules the eye aisle for me. Their Respectissime liner is excellent. It has such a fine felt tip so you can really be precise with the liquid formula, and it stays in place all night on me. Their Respectissime Volume Mascara is also a great drugstore piece, although I find it more lengthening and defining than particularly voluminous. I'll admit, most of my favourite lipsticks are from designer brands, but some of these drugstore formulas are pretty iconic. Recently I've been really impressed with Maybelline Mattes. Fell in love with this brownie nude shade Toasted Truffle. Then the Gigi Hadid shades Erin, an interesting dark mauve, and Lani, a deep rich red. I'll let you see them all side by side at the end. Rimmel Kate Moss 107 is very Zoella circa 2013. That's probably when I bought this because I was living in England at the time. A fun, bright, matte mixture between red and purple. I'd read about Revlon Black Cherry for years and finally grabbed it recently after one of my favourite YouTubers, Katie, from What Kate Finds wore it. Please check out her channel. She's hilarious. One of my favourite finds since I started making videos. Such a deep, classic berry, isn't it? Katie toned it down as more of a stain and it looked really stunning. In the liquid lipstick department, Revlon Colorstay Ultimate in Top Tomato is a great tomato red. The formula is slightly sheer, so you're never caked in product. Wore this to a Taylor Swift concert actually a few years ago. Love how products are often linked with a memory like that. Don't mind a couple of Tanya Burr Cosmetics shades too. Pink Cocoa is a pretty nudie brownie pink, and Bear Hug is a fair orange nude. A little bit pale for my lips, so I tend to dab that one on. These have more of a sheen to them. And finally, throwing in some high street shades from Rosie for Autograph again. She has a lovely range of nudes, and some of my favourites are Silk Cami, 
Lady Rose, Rosie's favourite shade because she says it's the exact colour of her famous lips, and Silk Rose. Lots of silk and roses going on in those names. To apply it all, I'm a big fan of real techniques. These brushes were created by Sam and Nick Chapman from the YouTube channel Pixie Woo. My favourites are their huge bronzer brush and blush brush. Such a wide range though, and they're often sold in sets. I'll leave the names of all of these linked below. Only fair to tell you how to take off all of that drugstore makeup now, so my favourite makeup remover is definitely the La Roche-Posay Respectissime Waterproof. It's a perfect, less pricey dupe for the Chanel Biphase Solution, which I think is the best eye makeup remover of all time. Finally, in the nail polish department, I can't go past Essie. I love their huge range of shades, particularly their pastels. Fairly long lasting too, but I do need to try their gel formula next. Ballet Slippers is one of my all time favourite classic light pinks. Kate Middleton loves it too. Fiji is an opaque baby pink, and Back in the Limo is a pretty subtle sheer orange. Mint Candy Apple used to be all over YouTube, and Fall in Line is a nice dark green for winter. These two are very vintage Lily Pebbles and the Anna edit. Cocktail Bling, a grayish blue, and Chinchilli, a torpy brown. Then two reds that I featured in my Red Lips and Nails video recently. I'm wearing Forever Yummy right now, and Really Red is slightly warmer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some new drugstore picks in this pile or spotted a few of your favorites. I know my channel features a lot of designer beauty brands, so I hope this was worth the wait for all of you drugstore beauty junkies. Please let me know what your favorite drugstore products are and be sure to follow me on my new Instagram account, Matilda on Video. See you next time.